Welcome in, my beautiful Sag. Caroline Hall, Psychic Medium here. I've got some amazing uh, messages from Spirit for you. Uh, they came through automatic writing. I'm super excited about these messages. They feel urgent. They feel like, you know, this is heads up. Uh, you know, this is what you need to know right now. This is for the month of December 2021. Um, so I want to get right into these messages right away. Um, they came through the automatic writing. Um, so this is what that looks like. It's kind of crooked. Um, it's just the spirit channeling through and writing down the messages that they want you to hear. And so I'm just going to get right into that. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe because I will be adding content and messages for whoever is watching my channel. The messages are going to come through. Okay. So make sure you hit that bell. Also, there is a link in the description box below that will take you over to my uh, Instagram. Make sure you follow. Um, and there is a, um, you could book a reading there. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you could book a reading. The calendar is open for the first time in a year. So that's really exciting. I'm super excited about that. Spirit just really had me on um, lockdown. There was a lot going on. There is a video that I made and you can go over and watch that and it'll give you information. It's an announcement video. It's a couple minutes long and it will just kind of give you some information about what's been happening. Okay. All right, my loves, let's get into this. It's just really urgent stuff here. Okay. So I'm just going to read it right from here. Um, the messages for Sag is I feel it. And, uh, this is, uh, I feel it. And that's the theme of this just feel it. Um, I feel it is what you need to live your life by at this time. Your feelings will lead you, guide you and show you your way and help you to make, um, to make choices. Even in the mundane world, they want you to tap in. I'm feeling this is about you tapping into your, um, to your feelings so that you can feel the energies. Please allow yourself to feel and even savor the next emotion and begin to dissect each one. This is definitely about that. Um, take note, take notes about them for you are learning to read the energies of the day and how to, how time there's something about time moment in between moments so it's really about it again it says the unseen to help yourself first but to also help those around you so it's about you know those in between moments those magical moments did that really did i see that did i really feel that is that really there okay if you have any doubts you must ask your angels and expect that they will answer because this happens only if you pay attention and believe. Okay. Pay attention and believe. Seeing is not believing. Believing is seeing. Remember that. Um, believe trust is on the forefront. This is, you have to trust your emotions, your feelings, dissect them. Okay. Um, let's see here. Junior, I got junior, junior light worker status is needing to upgrade to mystic light worker. <laughs> so this is what they're doing. They're trying to upgrade, upgrade your, your uh, abilities so that you can serve. Okay. Um, this is an elevation in light and service to others is at hand and the earth needs your skills. You are being called to step up to the platform as a light worker and carry the sword. And I got truth over here. You are the sword, carry it. Wow. Bring the truth. I've got so much, um, chills right now. So many, so much chills or somebody in the room. Um, Wow. Bring truth to yourself and others. And then I even wrote wow down here. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Whew. 
Okay, it's going to go into love. So what I want to do is give you advice right now. Um, I've been using these energy oracle cards. I've got all kinds of decks out here, and these are the ones that Spirit wants. So we're going to go to these. These have reverse meanings. So I really feel a presence in the room. I am a psychic medium, so I will uh, be able to tap into um, energies, uh, uh, loved ones and guides and things. I really feel like uh, right now you're somebody here, your guide or guides with me. I just heard mother. I heard a mother, mother, mother. So somebody's mom is here. We'll see what else comes out, but I want to pull these cards. <sighs> Envy. Well, what do you know? So there might be uh, some energies of um, feeling feeling envious of another person's life or, an, or another person might be feeling envious of your life. Um, this is really for you to, to um, what does it feel like? Uh, this is what I'm what I'm feeling. What does it feel like? What is what is envy? That's what I'm hearing. What is envy? There's emotions that uh, spirit is wanting you to learn. Energies. What does the energy of envy feel like? Okay. Angel of strength, having the strength. Okay, having the strength to allow yourself to feel the emotions around you and actually instead of an emotion coming in and then you quickly going up you know away from that um, it's about you hold the moment remember the line moment in between moment the unseen okay it's you allowing yourself to hold that strength to like okay what am i feeling what is that feeling right now that's really difficult for Sagittarius. I know that. It's very, very hard. Okay, what is the next one? Yin Yang. <laughs> it's, you can't be all Yang. Okay, uh, Sagittarius will be about action. I mean, we're fire signs. I'm an Aries. It, it's about action, okay? But it's about mixing the Yin and the Yang, the balance, the knowing when and the knowing when not to. Okay, knowing when and knowing when not to. All right, my loves, I'm going to, oh, this is the shadow side on the bottom, for reals. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So this is going to help you, uh, you know, like it said in your, in the automatic writing, this is going to help you with your, your uh, relationships and your immediate environment, if, if you're, um, you know, in partnership or whatever your kids, this is going to help you with that, your work situation, um, learning to discern. So it said, it's going to help. You're going to learn to help yourself first. And then also those people that are in your environment. Okay. And then of course, later you're going to be doing some light worker. You're, you're being called to step up as a light worker. The universe needs you now. There is a mass awakening period that's happening uh, starting around the 2nd of December. Uh, this is going to roll really strong through April um, into, you know, this next year. So um, it is very important that we work on those things we need to learn as light workers and step up. So if you've had thoughts of being a light worker, mystic, psychic, um, tarot reader, uh, healer, Reiki, whatever tools that, that you are drawn to. If you've been hearing, you know, I might be able to do that. Absolutely do it. This is a yes, a huge yes to you. Oh my gosh. So all these skills are going to help you to, um, have that beautiful, beautiful family life of harmony and balance. Oh my gosh. All right, my loves, let's get to the next uh, part of the reading, which is about love. Um, so I asked uh, anything else uh, for my Sag. And so if they said, yes, as far as far, yes, as for love, 
if you are in a relationship, this is about working together and giving your partner guiding. I got to decipher my right. Guiding your partner to love, to what it is to love and show love. So somebody out there, your partner needs help in, in guiding them to show them, hey, this is love and this is how we show it. Okay. So of course, a lot of that is by living by example, right? Reading, um, reading the energies and what actually really needs to be uh, done there instead of paying attention to the words so much. It's more about reading what is the emotion there. Okay. Um, you two together will radiate Okay, let me read this part. Together, uh, partner to, to, so guiding them to love and show love. You two, you two together will radiate a vibration of external light that will touch other people's lives energetically. And then, so on and so on. Raise the love because we are ascending. The planet needs the partners to love. If you are single, you must shine brightly, brightly for your soulmate to find you. <laughs> for now is the time for you two to come together. Shine. I cannot say enough. Shine. Draw them to you through manifesting tools and shine. The inner light of a thousand suns shining from the sacral chakra. Ooh, I have so much, um, there's so much energy here. I just got hugged. Um, they will not be able to miss it. Inner child I see here, play with them. Inner child, ask and shine. Two children in the garden playing. And then they wrote, be the warrior of light. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a time that you're going to come together. You're both going to work in service to, to um, the divine and to help the planet and help humanity. And I just love that. So let's get to, I want to do these because it's just going to help for more advice in this romance area. For those that are in partnership and those that are single, Let's see what comes out. What a beautiful reading. Sagittarius, Saggy time, Saggy season. Oh, wow. I have so much uh, love around me right now. You are so loved. Somebody's mom is here. I'll see if I can get a name real quick. Okay, Jude, Judy, Judith. Um, so, yep. Okay. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <laughs> it's that shining sun shining. They won't be able to miss you. Wow. Um, and this is also expressing and showing love to your partner, right? To guide them. Okay. Um, love yourself first. Love yourself first. That's so important. That light that shines like a thousand suns from that chakra is all about loving yourself. That the intimacy of, um, I know who I am and I love myself. Can you see me? I'm showing you. I'm, I'm showing myself to you. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I just heard class. Class, classy, like a classy lady, right? Grace, okay? Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful light to shine. There you go. There's the children playing in the garden. When you're using the manifesting tools to manifest your, your partner right now, um, like spirit is calling you to do, um, See yourself with their inner child, your inner child with their inner child playing in the garden together. See that, okay? Manifest that. Okay, I'm going to pull a card from the bottom. 
soulmate yes this is your soulmate so some of you might uh, already uh, have met that person and it is time for you to step up and shine so they it's undeniable to them right it's undeniable this is the person for you so if some of you are asking is this person have I met him yes you have okay so that's what that's saying to you so they want me to pull another one from the bottom I'm gonna pull it deception be careful of course okay Deception is a card for me that really talks about what am I telling myself? Do you see the little cherub in the ear over there? You know, what is it that I'm saying to myself? Am I lying to myself? This feels about that. That's the energy that I'm, I'm getting off this card. Also, if there is somebody that you've met, be aware. The, the key is let them talk. Okay, let them talk because then you can really hear what's really going on. All right, my darlings, so much love to you. Um, so prepare, do your work, and I will see you next time. Make sure you hit that bell because I'll be adding different uh, messages for people. And for whoever Judith or Judy uh, is, whoever mother, she's a mom, she has so much love for you. She is bringing you and hugging you and uh, showing you love. How she's directing you. She's working very, very hard on the other side for this, this lesson. This lesson is very important. Uh, she's extremely excited. I'm watching her like she's going like this. Um, and yeah, there you go. Much love to you. I will see you next time. Take care and look out for more content. Bye.